So for the second video of May for Makers, for the second post, second edition or whatever you want to call it, second <laughs> installment, um, I'm going to show you around my workspace, my workshop. I have two main work areas for making, which is obviously the garage here. This is my parents' garage. Um, usually it is occupied by my brother's or my father's car. Uh, when it's not, I take my time making stuff in here. And there's also my room, which is upstairs, just um, just above the, the garage. And basically this is where I have my computer, where I 3D model stuff, where I have my 3D printer, and where sometimes I spend some time um, painting miniatures for some sort of war game or something. To start off, I primarily work on two surface areas depending on the projects that I make. Uh, given that recently I have mostly invested my time in leather working, I use both surfaces. I have the workbench back here, which is something that I've made myself in the past. I think making a workbench is somewhat of a rite of passage for a garage maker, but hey, to each his own. I have also spent a lot of time working on this surface. This is a table which used to be um, up in the terrace, in my parents' terrace, basically. And when it was when time came to throw it away, I uh, decided to resurface it. And nowadays I use it as a surface, especially when I'm recording videos, uh, because it's very easy to move it around the garage. It's very easily um, easily positioned, and you can have lighting around it. And you can also put the camera on the other side of it, and you can keep on working without getting in the way of yourself. However, on the workbench, I find myself working a lot more comfortably when I'm not shooting videos, which is um, honestly most of the time nowadays. The workbench is made out of two by fours and plywood surface. Um, it's a very simple technique. I have a video about it, so you can check out how I made that. Um, but other than that, I think it's just a regular surface area on which to work. I also have a lot of tools back here. Some of them are my father's, of course, but nowadays, since I started collecting different tools, more and more tools are are obviously at my disposal. So let's take you around from that area, I suppose, <laughs> and then we'll go around till this way. Here is what I call the everything else shelf. Basically, here I store all the different um, glues, all the different bits and bobs and don't have a place somewhere else in the garage. So I have my tapes over here, duct tape, packing tape, that sort of thing glues, anything from epoxy to PVA to um, contact cement, that sort of thing. So they're all here. Most of the time I reach for these two bins. I also have toolboxes here, which are basically filled in with different odds and adds, nails, hardware, um, and one of them in particular, acrylic model paints, which I use a lot for my prop making and model painting. Over here I have most of my tools, basically. Um, starting from the top, I have some miscellaneous items that I don't really use a lot, so they're always out of reach, um, because I don't reach out for them mostly. Um, I do have some cutting mat stored underneath, and my camera case, which I never ever use. Book press, which is something I've done in the past, um, to make some sort of journals and that sort of thing. This is my consumable, my consumable rack, where I have glues, finishes, and like double stuff that I use on a regular basis when I'm working on, on wood or on other stuff, but not leather. I'll show you that in a minute. Here are my tools. I have senders, drills, impact drivers, um, the battery operated kind, something very easy. I reach out for these um, almost constantly when I'm working on a project, so they need to be handy and it's very important for me. Um, I try to work on a first, first order of retrievability. A kind of philosophy in the workshop, just like Adam Savage usually um, talks about, but in a very limited space, I'm very limited in what I can do with that. So at least I try to be efficient in this way. Going down, I have some extra odds and ends, some other tools which I don't use as frequently, like a small delta sander. Um, I have like soldering irons, that sort of thing, something that I don't use very often. And down there, obviously, I have some paints, um, which are wall paints, that sort of thing, for fixing stuff around the house. And they're not needed very often, so they're usually out of reach as well. These two shelves are shelves that I made in the past, a uh, very rudimentary design, um, but it was something which I am very happy that I made. On the top, I have the soldering tools, electronics tools, something which I don't use very often, so it's a bit out of reach again, and some miscellaneous items related to leather working. I've got some corks, some beeswax over there, um, leftover stuff, uh, which basically I may need in some projects while I'm doing leather working, but not that often. I have 
my father's radio for some using in the garage of course and some extra leftover leather over here these are stuff um these are items which would not fit in the regular leather pile which is over there with another stack of wood and resources that i use on this side as i said i have some tools a uh, tool wall basically i have a welding goggles over there because i also have a welder which i would never use in the past um, <laughs> Basically anything which needs to be retrieved quickly uh, while working on the workbench is usually found in front of me, like my Japanese uh, razor saw, which is a very useful tool to have when you need to cut some wood very quickly and very efficiently and, and neatly. Some rasps and, and files, which are um, always handy to have, as well as my lead shot hammer, which I use more often than I care to count. So something like this is very handy to have. Um, on the fly. The bench itself, as I said, is very um, basic, but I do keep uh, certain items on it. At the moment, it's a little bit cluttered because I am uh, I have just finished a project. So um, I've got this cardboard, which is extra. It's usually not here, um, but I do keep some stuff on it for leather working most of the time. Like, for example, these two pots, um, one of them is filled with water and the other one is filled with beeswax which i melt in a double boiler method um whenever i need to seal something in wax Ooh. i also keep my threads and dies over in a box neatly in the corner these are some things that um i don't need all the time when i'm doing leather working but when i need them i need them to be handy so i don't have time to rummage about i'm usually sewing and stitching in leather working is a bit of a tedious process so i try to get it over and done with as easily as possible This is possibly the box that I use most nowadays. Uh, I used to have all my leather working tools in a box and basically that wasn't working out very well for me. A shoe box was far too small for all the stuff that I need to carry with me. So I have bought this uh, toolbox, which is very easy to carry. And it also has two tiers of uh, storage, which I find extremely useful. Starting from the top, um, I have all the different removable trays, such as uh, rivets, stamps, some high-end stamps, D-rings, buckles, anything uh, hardware related to hardware which I may need when working on a project. I also keep a bit of beeswax and some jewelers rouge to sharpen my tools to polish them as well as needles and awls which are used for stitching. Measuring material, rulers and pencils and pens are always kept at the top so they're always very handy and I always find them when I need them. On the bottom tier I have all the different tools that I usually use. So for example, stitch groovers, a small hammer, which is used for peening rivets. I also keep a very small and cute anvil, which is very useful when you need to peen rivets by hand. So it's always useful. Some, some edge bevelers, swivel knives, and all the different things which I need for leather working, as well as some clips, which I don't use as often, but they're always useful to have, just in case you need them. Basically, these are all my leather working tools, and I always am looking for more stuff to add, and if need be, I can always get another box. But I think the best thing, the best feature about this box is not the two tiers of storage, it is not that it is easy to carry around or that it holds all my tools, but it, it has all the stickers from all my maker friends, um, well, not all of them, but most of my maker friends um, who I decided to embellish this box with. I hope that you found this uh, quick tour of my workspace interesting, and I'll see you tomorrow for the third day of May for makers. Remember, stay safe and keep making.